students welcome you all to our brilliant channel maths nation dear students if you have not subscribed maths nation kindly subscribe it now and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming videos students i promise you to complete syllabus and like to solve all your queries which you may kindly drop in the comment box dear students in my last sessions we have discussed about coordinate geometry today we continue with this coordinate geometry here this is theorem 1 this is theorem 1 of coordinate geometry here the theorem here the theorem sorry the theorem 1 of coordinate geometry here the theorem says the coordinate of the point which divides the line segment joining the point p with coordinate x1 y1 and q with the coordinate x2 y2 initially internally in the ratio m is to 1 m is to n then the coordinate of the point is look at here what the theorem says the coordinate the coordinate of the point of the point which divides the line segment which divides the line segment which divides the line segment line segment of point a with coordinate x1 y1 and b with coordinate x2 y2 in the ratio in the ratio in the ratio m is to n then the then the point the point has the coordinate let the point b f let the point b p point b p then p with the coordinate then the coordinate of the point p is x equal to m x 2 plus n x 1 upon m plus n then y is equal to m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n then here we have to prove this suppose this is 0 this is x axis this is y axis and here is the line segment here suppose a and b are two points a with coordinate x1 y1 a with coordinate x1 y1 and b with coordinate x2 y2 and the p is the point p is the point which is in the ratio which intersect the line a b line segment a b in the ratio m is to n then p has the coordinate let p has the coordinate x y then we have to prove that x equal to m x 2 plus n x 1 upon m plus n and y with m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n ok then here join this then to prove this join this we get join this then next join this is a triangle and this is another triangle let the point be h and the point be k ok then here keep it suppose keep it here and let us start let here this is the point with p <coughs> let the p has the coordinate x and y then we have to prove that x equal to m x 1 plus n x m x 2 plus n x 1 upon m plus n and y has m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n then then here we join this then look at here then here suppose this point b l and this is m and this is n this is n and this is m this is x axis and this is y axis then here l n and m then here look at here the 
O L is equal to the O L. Here the O L is equal to O L is equal to as A with the coordinate x1 and y1. This means O L is equal to x1. O L equal to x1. O N. O N is P with the coordinate x and y. Then O N equal to x. X and O M is equal to O M is equal to X two because B with the coordinate X two Y two then here A L A L is equal to Y one and P N is equal to Y and B M is equal to Y two okay then here. Here, consider the triangle. Consider the triangle A H P. This is H point and this is K point. Consider the triangle. Consider, consider triangle A H P. A H P triangle A H P and triangle P K B and triangle P K B. Then these two triangles are similar because this is right angle and this is right angle. As this line is parallel to this line, this means this angle is equal to this angle, and obviously this angle is equal to this angle. Then this these two triangles, these two triangles are these two triangles are similar triangles. These two triangles are similar triangles are similar triangles. Hence, similar triangles. Hence, hence, their ratio are same. The side ratio are same. AP upon BP. They as they are similar triangles means ratio of their sides are same. Then which equal to AH by which equal to AP by BP is equal to AH by PK. Which is equal to P H upon B K, okay? Then what is A P and B P? Because P is the point which intersect the line A line segment A B in the ratio M is to N. Then A P equal to M and B P equal to N. Then which imply M by N is equal to A H is X minus X one. And A and P K is and P K is equal to x two minus x is equal to x two minus x, which is equal to y minus y one y minus y one upon y two minus y upon y two minus y. Then by solving this, we get M upon N is equal to X minus x one upon x two minus x, and <clears throat> then by solving this, we get x is equal to m x two plus n x one upon m plus n, and in similarly, m by n is equal to y minus y one upon y two. Minus y. Then by solving this, we get y is equal to m y two m y two plus n y one upon m plus n. Then by solving this, we come to the conclusion that when a b is the line segment with coordinate x one y one and x two y two is intersected by in the ratio m is to n. Let p be the point. Then the P has the coordinate m x two plus n x one upon m plus n, and y and the y coordinate is m y two plus n y one upon m plus n. Okay, then I have already told you only knowing formula is not sufficient. Please, students, practice variety of questions. Now we solve some examples. Examples and you students, please practice your exercise and ask me your doubt. Here, look at here what the question says. Here, the example says. Example one says, 
find the coordinate of the point which divides the line segment joining the point here the point is a is with the coordinate 6 3 and b is with the coordinate minus 4 5 and they are the the line segment a b is intersected in the ratio 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 a is the point and b is the point let the point be p then we have to find out the coordinate of p points let the coordinate of p point be x and y x and y then we have to find out the coordinate of p then here x recall the formula x is equal to m x 2 plus n x 1 upon m plus n and y is equal to m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n upon m plus n here x 1 is equal to 6 y 1 equal to 3 and x 2 is equal to minus 5 and y 2 is equal to 5 and <coughs> m is equal to 3 n is equal to 2 as this intersects in the ratio m 3 is to 2 means here m is to n is equal to 3 is to 2 then applying this we can find out x is equal to m x 2 means m is here 3 3 into minus 4 plus 2 into 6 upon 3 plus 2 which is equal to which is equal to here minus 12 plus 12 upon 5 which equal to 0 then here y is equal to 3 into 5 plus 2 into 3 upon 3 plus 2 which is equal to 21 upon 5 then p has the coordinate here p is the point which intersect the line segment joining a and b in the ratio 3 is to 2 is with the coordinate 0 and and 21 upon 5 okay then another question then another question you please solve your exercise and ask me your doubt then another questions only knowing the formula is not sufficient please practice variety of questions here this is different questions example 2 is different from example 1 example 2 says find the coordinate of the point which trisect the line segment joining a and b with the coordinate here the question says a with the coordinate coordinate of a is 1 minus 2 and b is with coordinate and b is the point with coordinate minus 3 and 4 here the line is trisect means with three equal parts the line is intersect and the find out the point suppose this is p point and this is q point we have to find out the coordinate of both p and q this line is trisected means a p is equal to pq is equal to bq means this part is equal to suppose this is lambda this is lambda and this is lambda okay then here here the a b line is intersected at the point p with the ratio lambda is to 2 lambda then a b line is intersected line is intersected intersected at p at p in the ratio in the ratio in the ratio lambda is to 2 lambda because this is lambda and this is lambda plus lambda 2 lambda means a p ratio with p b is equal to lambda is to 2 lambda which equal to 1 is to 2 here m equal to 1 n equal to 2 and the a point is 1 minus 2 this means x1 equal to 1 and y1 equal to minus 2 and x2 is equal to minus 3 and y2 equal to 4 then the p coordinate is equal to 
then P is equal to recall the formula which is equal to m x two plus n x one upon m plus n, which is equal to which is equal to one into minus three plus two into one upon one plus two because m is one and n is two, and here the x coordinate this is x coordinate p point x coordinate is this then the y coordinate is equal to m y two plus n y one upon m plus n which is equal to one into four plus two into minus two upon one plus two here this is equal to minus one upon three and this is equal to two hence the p is the point with coordinate x and y which is equal to minus one upon three zero then minus one upon three zero then here look at here then here we have to find out then here we have to find out this is the p point then we have to find out the coordinate of q point here we have to find out the coordinate of q point look at here the q is the point which is intersected by a q upon b q then the let the q point be coordinate with here x y here let the coordinate of point b a and b let the q is the point with coordinate a and b here a here a q is to b q is equal to lambda plus lambda 2 lambda upon lambda is equal to 2 lambda is to lambda is equal to 2 is to 1 here m equal to 2 n equal to 1 and <coughs> and x 1 is equal to One and y one equal to minus two, and x two is equal to minus three, and y two is equal to four. Then here the a coordinate is equal to m x two plus n x one upon m plus n, which is equal to which is equal to two into minus three plus one into one. Upon two plus one, and the b coordinate means y coordinate is equal to m y two plus n y one upon m plus n, which is equal to which is equal to two into four plus two into four plus one into minus two upon Two plus one. By solving this, we get this is minus five upon three, and this is two. Then here we get the point Q with the coordinate. Here we get the point Q with the coordinate. Keep it here. Then here we get the point Q with the coordinate. Q with the coordinate. Sorry. Q with the coordinate minus five by three two with the coordinate minus five by three and two. Here P and Q are two points with coordinate. Which the line is a B line segment is trisected at P and Q. This means P with coordinate P with coordinate minus one upon three zero. P with coordinate minus three one upon three. Zero and Q with coordinate minus five upon three two. Okay, this is the answer of the question. Okay, then another question, another question. Please, students, practice variety of questions. Here another question says. Here the question says, let there be <coughs> the proof that four vertices are in. Vertices of a parallelogram. Here, the four vertices are given. We have to prove that this these vertices are vertices of a parallelogram. We can prove this when the as we know that 
in a parallelogram the diagonals bisect each other if the look at here suppose here a b c d are four points given a with the coordinate a b c d are four vertices given here a with the coordinate minus 2 minus 1 and b with the coordinate 1 0 and c with the coordinate 4 3 c with the coordinate 4 3 and d with the coordinate 1 and 2 1 and 2 then we have to prove that these are the vertices of a parallelogram means we have to prove that we have to prove that a b c d is a parallelogram a b c d is a parallelogram only when two diagonals are bisect each other let then here a c and b d a c and b d are two parallelograms are two are two diagonals of the parallelogram are two diagonals if the two diagonals if the two diagonals bisect each other diagonals bisect each other means bisect each other then bisect each other then can only then can only a b c d is a parallelogram let this be the let o be the point let o be the point where o be the point of intersection of the point of intersection of a b and c d intersection of a b and no, a c sorry sorry a c and b d diagonals then if o is the midpoint of a c and o is the midpoint of b d this means they are these vertices are vertices of a parallelogram suppose <coughs> o is the be the point of a c point point of intersection point of intersection of intersection of a c and b d then here look at here keep it here keep it here 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 the let o be the midpoint of ac where o is the midpoint let o is the midpoint of ac and o is the midpoint if ac and bd are in bisect each other means intersect at the midpoint means they bisect each other then can we say that a b c d is a parallelogram let here the o is the midpoint then let here O with the coordinate O is the midpoint with coordinate O is the midpoint with coordinate with coordinate with coordinate X and Y. Then here according to if S O is the midpoint of SC, then X is equal to recall the bisect formula. Bisect formula X is equal to X1 plus x2 upon 2 here the a with the coordinate here x1 is equal to minus 2 and x2 equal to 4 here for a c let let o be the midpoint of midpoint with coordinate x y midpoint of a c a c a with coordinate minus 2 minus 1 and c with coordinate 4 and 3 then a x1 equal to minus 2 where x2 equal to 4 and y1 equal to minus 1 and y2 equal to 3 then here the x is equal to x1 upon x2 by 2 here minus 2 plus 4 upon 2 which is equal to 2 upon 2 1 then y is equal to y1 plus y2 upon 2 here y1 is equal to minus 1 plus 3 upon 2 this is 2 plus upon 2 1 then the o has the is the midpoint with the coordinate then o has the coordinate 
then here O with the coordinate 1 and 1 here O x y is equal to 1 and 1 if the 1 and 1 coordinate be the midpoint of BD then we say that these vertices are the vertices of a parallelogram then find out the midpoint of BD the midpoint find the midpoint of BD find the midpoint of BD midpoint of BD B with coordinate 1 0 and D with coordinate 1 and 2 D with coordinate 1 and 2 and here the x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 1 plus 1 upon 2 2 upon 2 equal to 1 and y is equal to y1 plus y2 upon 2 0 plus 2 upon 2 which equal to 2 upon 2 1 yes the bd midpoint of bd xy is 1 and 1 yes midpoint of bd 0 is with 1 and 1 coordinate here this is 1 and 1 and this is 1 and 1 means ac and bd bisect each other this means these vertices are vertices of a parallelogram okay okay students today this much in my next sessions we will continue with this thank you students happy learning